We're joined now by the reporter at the center of all this, Ben Jacobs. He's coming to us from Livingston, Montana this morning. So we heard the tape. Ben, first things first, how are you feeling? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm recovering. It's been, uh, it's been a shocking, uh, sort of stunning 12 hours. And I'm still sort of, you know, taking a lot of Advil and uh, trying to get better. Oh, that, that's good. We, we hope you are feeling a little bit better. Try to walk us through from your perspective. We could, we could hear what was going on, couldn't really see it. Walk us through from your perspective what happened with the Congress when you heard that statement from his office. They're calling you the aggressor here. Yeah, but that uh, I, I that that is not a factually correct statement. I approached the congressman. I asked him about the CBO score, um, and he uh, shortly thereafter, uh, you know, sort of repeated the question. He grabbed my report recorder, and uh, next thing I knew, I'd gone from being uh, vertical to being horizontal and on the floor. And the Fox News reporters who are in the room say he was punching you. Um, yeah, he was on he was on top of me and and wailing on me. We hear in the tape him saying, "I'm sick and tired of this." Had you had any kind of a history with the congressman? Um, no, I didn't have any history. I'd reported on been reporting on the uh, on the race, but uh, I my understanding is that his issues were based on a report that a colleague of mine had done a couple of weeks ago and had been somehow unhappy or discontented with that and that had apparently set him off. So did he just snap? He, he seemed to just snap. It was not um, having asked a number of politicians a number of questions about policy. I've never never had that reaction to a question about health care reform before. Yeah, well, it would be something of a surprise. We now we, the police have come in. They charge him with a misdemeanor, uh, not a felony assault. Is that good enough for you? Um, the police made the decision. I gave a statement to the police, and they, they made, the, made the decision about what to do there, and I'm sure everything they did was appropriate. And will you be taking any further legal action? Um, I haven't even begun to think about it. I still, uh, I still have an election to report on in 12 hours, so that's, that's the first priority. I still have a job to do. So it's possible, but you're not, no final decisions yet? I'm... I'm I'm still, this has been a whirlwind 12 hours. I still have work to do and that's not really, uh, not really my top concern of mine. I still have a copy to file. So you're, you're still covering the election. You think this is going to have an impact on the outcome? I, I have no idea. That's not my job. I'm a, I'm a reporter and whatever happens, happens. And my job is uh, just to report and you know, leave it up to the voters of Montana. Ben Jacobs, thanks for joining us this morning.